Ladies and gentlemen, 2024, new Dark Magician in action. And what have I told you? That there is a boss monster that is really hard to summon. But when you summon it in this Dark Magician based deck, he literally has infinite negates. Yes, in today's Master Duel video, I'm going to take you guys into a deep dive into ancient Yu-Gi-Oh! And go back into the days of Pyramid of Light. There was Blue Eye Shining Dragon. Now it is time to summon Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Without further ado, let's begin. Supreme Pro, the best competitive trading card game sleeves ever. Easily gliding, easy shuffling, durable, and is what all the pro players use. Get yours now in a variety of different colors. It's the only protection your cards need. Visit tsx1.com now. Link in the description box below. Ladies and gents, visit TX1.com. Get your SP sleeves today in the link down below. They're back in stock. So what are you waiting for? Ladies and gents, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. This card debuted in the Pyramid of Light. You guys already know, Blue Eye Shining Dragon. And then we got, of course, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. So this card's a level 9 Dark Spellcaster type monster with the attack stat of 3200 attack and 2800 defense. And it has the following effect. Cannot be normal summoner set. Must be special summon from your hand by tributing two level 6 or higher Spellcaster type monsters. It cannot be special summon by other ways during either player's turn when a trap card is activated you can negate the activation if you do destroy it this card must be face up on the field to activate and resolve this ability this effect is not once per turn so if you're playing against a trap deck this card is able to negate infinite times labyrinth see ya paleozoic see ya floodgate see ya literally any trap cards except for obviously counter traps this card can negate so it's really hard to summon because number one, it is not searchable, which means you have to hard draw this card. Number two, you have to have two level six or higher small castles in the field to tribute summon this card from your hand to summon this card. And number three, this card can only be special summoned by using its effect from your hands. But if you're able to get this card on the field, you basically just win the duel and it's like the ultimate flex. And that's what's really fun about these challenging videos is that summoning this thing is just a huge treat. And if we're able to summon in today's video, it's going to be an absolute flex on all your opponents. Ladies and gents, this is the Sorcerer Dark Magic deck list right here. Yes, it is a standard Dark Magician base deck, including Sorcerer Dark Magic. And I decided to do a thing where I have created a lock with Sorcerer Dark Magic. We got right here. This card will lock all trap cards. But what happens when we combine it with Secret Village Spellcasters? The ultimate Dark Magician lock right here. So that's the entire goal of this deck. Summon Sorcerer Dark Magic by tributing Dark Magician and also uh, Dark Magician Goro or Mahad. And then set up, of course, the Secret Village with the Eternal Soul and cards like Super Polymerization to help break boards, tactics to help break boards. Like, this deck looks absolutely clean. Really, really standard Dark Magician deck. This is something that I will play if I want to flex on an opponent. Try to summon Sorcerer Dark Magic. Use this deck list as a guide and a template to what you guys can build in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, but this is it. And without further ado, time to summon Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Let's begin. All right, guys, here we go. Sorcerer of Dark Magic time. All right, guys, the whole goal of this video is to summon and actually win with the man himself, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Uh, this opening hand is just absolutely insane. You, you you can't go wrong with this opening hand right here. So we're gonna start with Magician Souls. We're gonna special summon this card. All right, we're gonna summon Souls. Uh, right here, we're gonna send, of course, the Dark Magician to the graveyard. So we are not like, like a trap negate is at max C. You, you gonna think you can max C me, fam? Let me see. I'm not really gonna special summon too much. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna cap you guys. Like, yeah, no, honestly, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's a trade. 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 We do have Ash. He's gonna draw one. We're not gonna special summon uh, like, like anymore again, right? So it, it doesn't even matter. So I'm gonna go activate Soul Servant right here. Uh, this card right here is gonna stack Magician's Rod to the top of my deck. Okay, but so we're looking for the standard, the standard plays. You know what I'm saying? We'll go Soul Servant, draw one. We draw into the Rod. Amazing, amazing. Yes, no, we draw into the Rod. And then we normal Rod right here. And then Rod will fetch us, of course, Salvation. And Salvation is insane. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes like you don't always gotta mash the max C when it's not necessary, right? You'd rather save and hold for interruption right here. There's already an interruption with Dark Magical Circle. You know, we only have one, two interruptions right here. But that's completely fine. That's okay. So now we can actually just go this. Dark Magical Circle. See the top cards of our deck. We see a Floodgate. We're pretty much lit. So we see Tactics, okay? Tactic is great. Then we get to look at our opponent's hand here. We go this. Uh, send this. We'll decide now. We draw one. We draw into tactics. All right. I mean, look, look at our end. Let's, let's see what they're playing with. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, we're going to go look at our opponent's hand. 
Let's see. What's the attack? All right, let's look at their head. Oh, gosh, Tira. Ah, gosh, Tira. I'm sorry, bro, but there you go. So you better, you know what I'm saying? Like we have the Eternal Soul for that setup right there, which is absolutely amazing. We know their hand, we got Double Thrust, Ogre, and also Rise Heart, which isn't threatening to us at all, right? So we just end our turn here. Like this is simple. Very simple. It's not complicated. Let's not overcomplicate things. Let's just straight up play basic Yu-Gi-Oh. Now we got Double Thrust. We're not gonna use any abilities here. We're just gonna let him do his thing. We go Ogre, that's fine. That's critical Shangi Yura. We just go circle. So that's fine. That That is completely fine. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the Yara Cure Trap from the deck to the hand. Uh, that's cool. We're not going to play into thrust because we don't need to play into thrust. Uh, that's completely fine. We go preparations. That's 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 absolutely amazing. So we uh, this guy's drawing one. So yeah, that's fine. It can excavate. That's that, that's good. That's good. One, two, three, four, five. Get the managed card face down, right, I believe. And I think the best option here is to maybe just go circle here. Because we don't want to play into thrust, right? He only has two thrust. Two, two thrust rise hard preparations right rise hard is good yep that's fine they do that yeah manage, that's all that's all he has preparations two thrust and uh, like we're not gonna play into it that's fine let him manage top three cards it doesn't even matter what, what he manages it's okay we, we wait for the shang we literally just wait for the shang and then we're pretty much good to go manage unicorn he's gonna go for shang like, this, this, this is how you outplay them watch then go to shang that's fine Nothing is threatening us right now. It's not nothing is threatening us. So we are Gucci to go. We go Shang and Face. That's when we're able to trigger off uh, Rod uh, to summon back Dark Magician, and then we can just basically go off from there and then, right? Which is gonna be amazing. Like I'll showcase you guys, and then next turn potentially just go Sorcerer Dark Magic. Uh, we can negate preparations. Like so many other crazy plays. This is how you outplay uh, a meta player right here. So you go Shang. Watch, watch. Everything is basic standard. Shang and Face and Face, and then we wait and we chill. See, so set one. The double thrust. See? Wow, he's not doing anything. So, end phase, we go activate Eternal Soul. Yes, we use the fact right now. We'll summon Dark Magician from my hand or grave. We'll summon this. Okay. And then we we'll use this card's ability, Chain Link 1. I think uh, we just banish. Uh, I think we banish preparations here. Then we chain Rod. And this is how we play around everything. Add rod to our hand. So we, we 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 stop the preparations from coming out because preparations are gonna be able to ride these cards back anyways, right? So we might as well not. It, it, it's just very just very standard plays, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they, you, you, you can read these. Oh wow, and that's that's completely game. And that's a scoop. Honestly, guy, I'm 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 kind of it's kind of unfortunate that uh, I was unable to summon uh, the sorcerer dark magic, but that turn we were guaranteed sorcerer dark magic regardless. That's how you outplay. Like a meta deck you know what i'm saying like assess your options try not to be hasty about it but obviously this this video shouldn't count because I, this whole goal is summon sorcerer dark magic so if you're watching this video or kofi whatever your name is you suck all right ladies and gents game number two let's try again hopefully we can summon sorcerer dark magic this time and hopefully our opponent just doesn't scoop you know what i'm saying so here we go we open up with a really god hand so secret village spell cast triple tactics super pronunciation rod and also illusion chaos this is the ideal hand that you want to see when it comes to playing any dark magician deck because this hand will be able to break literally any board so it doesn't matter what our opponent's playing they're playing heroes this is even better oh they're not playing heroes they're playing vanadiums okay this is even better bro we're gonna be able to showcase you guys how we're gonna be easily able to break this board uh with absolute ease so you guys will see all right so astral out is being summoned visa star frost we get to do whatever we we chill in here all right here we go yeah combo off you know let's just sleep you know what i'm saying let's let, let's just relax you know, dark roast coffee, blonde roast, whatever you guys drink. Mm, that's how you're supposed to drink it. If you guys are, you know, on a weight loss or something, this is what I drink every day. You guys already seen that your boy's been getting skinnier. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So the, the, the greatest way to get skinny, you know, as uh, you know, if you guys know, I, uh, I'm, I'm still young. You know, I'm not, I'm not that old. If you guys guess my age in the comments, I'll give you a pack of free sleeves. You guys saw my older videos. I was really, really fat. And a lot of you guys have been like calling me out on it, which I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? Because here on Team Samurai X1, you know, like like we're a family, you know what I'm saying? So you know, if I'm doing something wrong, you guys gotta call me out. And I really appreciate you guys calling me out. And I was fat, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm getting skinnier. I was 240 at my peak, 240 pounds, which is crazy. I'm not tall too, I'm like five, six. But 240 pounds, I was like obese, you know what I'm saying? So what's really, really helping me, you know, lose weight is of course I work out, I box every day and I fast every day. I fast for 20 hours a day and I just drink black coffee throughout the day. I drink like two, three of these every day. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how healthy that is, but it's been helping me go. It, this is black coffee is literally helping me go through the day. It's like straight black coffee. So 
Reframing. Well, reframing is not going to do anything because Super Paul is going to clear this guy's entire board. So. Yeah, you know, he's chilling. You know, if Dark Magicians can break this board, we are literally in Gucci to go. Ladies and gents, we will break this board. I am confident of it. We can break this board. Damn, this guy opened up everything. Yeah, okay. So he's searching Manadium Room Heart again. So he already has Room Heart already. He's searching another Room Heart. Okay, just to follow for the following turn. Okay. Pop that. Use a Star Frost. This guy's playing like into nib, into everything right now. Because if I nib him right here, he just loses the duel. Like, this guy clearly doesn't you know does, 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 doesn't know what he's doing, but we're breaking this board, bro. No SP little knight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're pretty much gooch. All the pro players, like even Trip says, if you're, if you're playing Tord in your deck, you like your deck's ass. You know what I'm saying? How's he making this pattern? Oh, Chaos Angel. Okay, alright. Respect that, but what's Chaos Angel to a uh, super polymerization? So you know what I'm saying? Like Card getting destroyed by card effects. You know what I'm saying? We just tactics it. Tactics, steal this, revive this back off dark. We're pretty much Gucci Lucci to go, ladies and gents, right? Like, what else can we possibly do? Even just like triple tactics, stealing the Apollosa is also really huge, too. We're gonna crack this boy. You got Sorcerer Dark Magic, man. We're insane. Axel Synchro. Oh, that's how you think. Yeah. Okay. Stardust Dragon. Okay, what's the point of that? Stardust Dragon! Honestly, this is actually really fun watching. So far, it's been five minutes. Like, we're, we're, we're chilling, bro. We just watch. We're just commentating. So, you go start a dragon. Start a dragon. And, of course, and tore it into Abyss. So, this, this pater. Okay. Uh, absolutely amazing. Definitely a waste of extra deck space, in my personal opinion. Yeah, it does play around with a lot of hand traps, though, which is pretty good. Uh, so, we go with this, this, so this pater. Okay, you know, these two. Of course, into the cross sheep. And then banish the Vizas. And, of course, a monster summon vicious astral loud. And then this pater revive back anything he banishes, which is really good. And then we just combo off full combo from there, right? But nonetheless, now this is great. No sense. We got cross sheep. And we got mud dragon to deal with this. So I believe mud dragon, I'm not too sure. Same type of attribute, but different names. Two monsters with the same attribute, but different types. So, so these two just automatically go. And then we can go just go dark revive back his own this this, show, this pattern and just go off from there, uh, which is amazing, right? So honestly, guys, this is more like a dark magician video. You know what I'm saying? If we, we, do, if we do draw force or dark magic, we're pretty much litty titty, you know? So yes, he's putting everything in defense. Phoenix, you're doing a great job putting everything in defense. This means that you're playing around Lightning Storm, which is just a negate that you don't want to be having to use your negations for, right? So understand them, understand them. Like for it or, or the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 4200. Head on the floor. And then you summon a course, and then you go into Appaloosa, I think. His room heart. His room heart too unknown. I know in the room hard. Two unknowns still. I guess he can make another 10. Guy Shenging maybe. Oh, Appaloosa. That's fine. Oh, that's a reframing. True. Okay. Draw. Oh, Eternal Soul. Okay, so this is how, how are we going to do this, ladies and gents? I think the best situation to go towards is just Super Poly right here. Can't beat it. Just send this. I think Secret Village doesn't do anything, right? this and then we go this oh wow this destroys it well i still get to add a card from my hand though i guess i get the I'm also a top deck yeah we don't need that right now we can normal this Perfect. It's a reframing this to be honest. This is a good reframing, yeah. Oh this it isn't destroy. Oh wow. I guess we can go tactics, the old chaos angel. Thank you. We just broke an entire manadium board. Send Dark Magician. Oh, this is game. Beto. Oh, this is game. Oh, we forgot he's at 4,000 life points. I guess we're not seeing Sorcerer Dark Magic today, ladies and gents. Dark Magic Attack! Let's go!
Man! Holy smokes! Bro, are we Yami Yugi today or what's going on here? Can we summon Sorcerer Dark Magic? You know what I'm saying? Please. Please. All right, ladies and gents, let's summon Sorcerer Dark Magic. It's been very difficult. Obviously, because our deck was just showcasing the sheer power of how nice Dark Magician is, right? So, you know what I'm saying? So, let's let, 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 let's see what we're working with here. Let's go, let's go Illusion here. You know what I'm saying? Let's go Illusion. Oh, you got Ash, bro? Please, Ash me. Maxi, I'm not even gonna special summon, bro. I'm not even gonna special summon. I'm not even gonna special summon. We'll put this to the top of our deck. You know what I'm saying? Normal summon. Effect. We get this. And hopefully we get Eternal Soul. It's fine. You know, he draws one. And then we go with this. Let's see what they're stacking with. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's look at their hand. Resonator? Oh, we're playing against a Jack Atlas deck, eh? It's Eternal Soul. This looks whack as heck, but it is what it is, guys. This is strong. This is very, very strong. Very strong for against a Resonator deck. This is literally Yugi versus Jack Atlas. We're getting our Sorcerer Dark Magic out next turn. Uh, last win. He has a bunch of other... It, it, it doesn't do anything. He just adds a Resonator card. It doesn't do anything. The Resonator's back. You know, we just banished the Crimson Resonator and we're good. We just banished the first Resonator that summoned and we're pretty much Gucci Gucci. Here we go. I'm excited, guys. Sorcerer Dark Magic time. Oh, what? What is this here? Or Dark Magician. Okay. I don't think he has anything. This is the only thing that, 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 that's, 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 that was unknown, right? So we just banished Beast of the Wild. And then it's pretty much game. Don't scoop, please. Oh, oh, yes. You're not scooping. I like that. I love that attitude. Oh, yeah. Activate this. Add this to my hand. Go with the illusion. Activate circle. Add dark magician. Okay, and we go. And we get Tamais. Okay, beautiful. And then we go Souls. Special in Best Girl. Come on out, Dark Magician Girl. I love you. Now! Tribute Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl to summon Sorcerer of Dark Magic! The gate's anything though, which is actually insanity. And then we go activate this. Send the rod. You know what I'm saying? Summon her. And then we go Eternal Soul. Summon Dark Magician. Okay. Holy smoke. We are literally summoning everything. Okay. Summon Dark Magician. Yes, sir. And then we activate this effect. Target him. And then we use this. Target this. Yo, we can negate any trap cards now. There's an infinite in the gates. Infinite in the gates, bro. Bring this out. Yes, sir. And now we use Tamias. Fusing. Oh, we can use Quintet 1, 2. The Dark Magician! Now we enter the battle phase. Attack. Tamias, attack. And now, Sorcerer Dark Magic! Dark Magic Blast! Yeah, that was Liddy Titty, bro. That was Liddy. That was Liddy, bro. That was absolutely Liddy, bro. Let's summon one more. Let's do it one more time. Honestly, guys, yo, that was absolutely hyped. That was absolutely hyped. Holy smokes, Famski. Let's get it. Okay, you know, this hand is not that great, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Go Rod. Okay, activate Rod. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, of course, search circle. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Kind of bad. We activate circle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. This is terrible, bro. Yeah, hopefully he's playing a Spellcaster deck. So, uh, good luck. Uh, yeah, guys. That's how we floodgate our opponent in 2023. Yep, this, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. That's GG's.
Ooh, red eye summon skull. Okay, so that means they can't use red eyes fusion. So we're pretty much good. We at least locked them from summoning red eyes fusion. That's that's what I'm happy about. We are good. You know what I'm saying? We're good. Now, now they can activate their spells. Oh, wow. No spells. All right. Ooh. Oh, traps, perhaps? Maybe traps. We got Magician Souls. Yes, sir. Now we Liddy Titty. Okay, we're going to summon Dark Magician. And Dark Magic Magician. Yes. So we this. Okay. And now we use Dark Magician to banish the back row. All right, guys? So Dark Magician to banish the back row. I do the effect. So we're, we're playing against Joey, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we no Maraud. Activate Rod. We'll have this. Okay. Okay. Dark, dark. Red eyes. Clean here. Celine, go back. Oh, this is amazing. And then we trigger this off. Summon Dark Magician. Oh my god, I'm actually insane. I'm actually a genius. Oh my god, first turn. First turn. Oh my god. Tribute is to Sorcerer of Dark Magic! Beto. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what does it do? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. We had our turn. Wow. First first source of dark magic, guys. First first source of dark magic. We didn't get any traps and anything. Pretty much Gucci Gucci to go. We're pretty much Gucci. Pretty much good to go in the middle. Alright. Now we have like an infinite loop with soul servant and stuff. Yes, you can have to try to try travel that into the deck. Fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's Gucci Gucci. All right, we can negate. This is infinite negate side. Any trap cards like Labyrinth? Sorry, bro. You're not, you're not, like, you're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. Oh, Red Eyes Fusion? Unless Dragoon is in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we, we pretty much Gucci Lucci. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not worried about anything. All right. All right. Summon Skull. Yeah, 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 yeah. I respect it. Black Skull Dragon. Okay. In battle phase, we activate this. Oh, we're, oh no, no. We're not negating that. Are you crazy? What's this? Dark Magician. Killing one. Target. Killing two. Target. I think this works, right? What is tribute to Celine? Right here. And that to her hand. And source her dark magic is gonna be able to just destroy. So with this. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. This this is such a beautiful board, ladies and gents. This is like you cannot complain how beautiful this board is. Wow. Honestly, just for jokes, we can just summon Quintet. Why not? Okay, we can just go fumble this. Back. Uh, this. That could be this. We can stack Mahad. Match this. Okay, so red eye soul. Oh, we oh, we're Max seeing we drawing Mahad. It's crazy. Maxi drawing Mahad is actually OD. Oh my god, Maxi drawing Mahad right now is actually OD. That was perfect. Oh, and then Mahad comes out. That's crazy. Holy, yo guys, this is when it gets crazy. Good. Let me go with this. Draw three because we got three mans on the field. Oh my god. Let's just do this for jokes. Okay. Attach this. I'm in Dark Magician. Okay. Alright. I can be this. And then I'm going to use these two. Okay. We're just going to. Okay. Magical eyes. Quinton 
Ultimate Magician! Come on out! Yes! Effect, destroy everything. Babe. Quinta. Sorcerer Dark Magic, attack for game. Bro, that was freaking epic, bro. Holy smokes. First two were meta duels, second two wasn't really a meta duel, but we were able to get him out. Holy smokes, 2024. Damn!